Flan, oh Flan, isn't he grand? He owes something here that rhymes. Enough of your yawping! For the sake of our ears, shut your mouth! Sure, and you're an idiot. You are all the same. Grab the bitch! Faye, won't you let a caged bird sing? Shit. I'd hoped an audience of tone-deaf Danes might permit. Are you kidding? Hold her down! Wonder of wonders. How much trouble can I be in at once? Can't help you. This one comes with me. No, no, no! She will answer for this insult! Can't change your mind? <laughs> you owe me. Poetess has made friends with the ground. On your feet, Poetess. Mulian, everything is spinning. A cold bath will remedy this quickly. Flush the ale from you. If you think I'm going to lug you to Tara, you're mistaken. Tara? Wait, who are you? Bardit sent me to collect you. He's waiting at the stables. Ah, an envoy. Tell me, how much coin would an envoy be wanting to speak nothing of this brawl to Bardit? He'll tie a guard to my hip the next time I'm in Dublin. A man can be so sensitive sometimes, do you know what I mean? I do. Bardith is my family. <clears throat> well then, I think my mouth has gotten me in enough trouble today. Try opening it less. Works for me. Shall we? Any story? The priest is dead, and so too are his killers. Bandits. I found this. It's an order to kill Flan. One of them was to disguise himself as a priest. Cut Flan's throat during the coronation. Right under our noses. Why take the risk? Why not poison? Or striking at him in his sleep? Poison can fail. And to kill him in his sleep lacks spectacle. But your point is sound. The killer would not have made it out alive. He was ready to die. Whoever plotted this is intent on seeing Flan fall. We need to warn him. After the coronation, I will not have this gnawing at him. Flan earned this. He will enjoy it. Meet him afterward at his quarters in Duro. He will make time for you there. Now, if you will take my excuses, I need to tidy up. Come along, Eivor. The water was not that murky, was it? You don't know much about the role of a poetess, do you, Eivor? Enlighten me. I will. Well, what are you waiting for? I asked to be excused. That meant you as well.
I see other kings here. News of Flan's inauguration has reached far and wide. Come, we should join them. Is that him, Flan? Yes. What are they doing? Blessing him. Abbot Owen is the highest ranking official among the Christians. His blessing asserts that Flan is ready to fill the boots of his predecessor. It is all done before the Leah Fall, a sacred stone that is said to endow the rightful kings with long reigns. Does it work? Depends on what you consider long. Coronations alone. Where's the food? You have not changed. I'm here. I may as well enjoy myself. Flan for You sing with conviction. It is the mournful song of the Leah Fall, the ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone, it seemed to... it... The legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well and her mother and hers. Back to the very first woman of the isle. The mere sound of the words connects me to my ancestors and this fertile soil. You're lucky. I've left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Surely you can leave any time you wish. I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. Is he such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. I appreciate you for all your qualities, Kira. I've got more than a fine voice for singing, if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? I'm asking if you'd like to take advantage of a Norse who finds himself alone with a bewitching Irish woman. Ada, don't you have a way with words, Eivor? And I'm not saying never. I understand. I all but forgot. Flan sent me to remind you to begin his ballad. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. 
If it is as glorious as that song was lovely, Flan is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. I'll see you in the morning. Slan. Good night, Kira. It is beautiful. I used to wash away my cares and pain in this pond. Would it be all right if I... Of course. As a young girl, when the Christians cleared the forests of Druids, I fled and stumbled on this spot. How would I survive? My friends, the world I knew, soon I turned to the children of Thanu. At first, they pledged simply to keep the old ways alive. Then, one by one, Druids turned to dark rituals. Then they turned to worse. Yes, even murder. I disavowed the children, and now pray for their destruction. The High Druids spoke of some sort of awful might. Fantasies, an ancient fable of a people long lost. The Druids are now dispersed without a champion. You have King Flon. My hopes are placed in him, but am I a fool? He has no deep love of the past. He hopes to build a new Ireland. He pledges that my people will be part of it. But once he's king, storms will come. I cannot know where he will take refuge. You are no fool. You and I have been through much together. We came near death. I would like to celebrate life. Is this why you brought me to this place? Tis a lovely glen. Perhaps we could pass some time here. I would like very much to pass some time with you. I... lovely. Lovely indeed.